next speaker's talk at our second night was called Why Sex is Great. Let's welcome David back to describe the concept. Please welcome David. Back. money for cab fare. My touch didn't come back from the cleaners. An old friend came in from out of town. Someone stole my car. There was an earthquake. A terrible flood. Locust, it wasn't my fault, I swear to God. Blues Brothers fans. Hands. Okay, good. I'm in the right room. And what does Princess Leah do when he gives you that set of excuses? Anybody? She forgives him. She doesn't blast him. She actually... He deserved it. He should have been shot. I'm on a journey. I'm on a journey to be a mensch. I want to be a better man. I want to not use lame-o excuses like Jay Blues does. When you use a lame-o excuse, you are so disrespecting somebody who you really need to be apologizing to. You're being selfish. You're putting your own feelings ahead of the other person's. So what I did was I created a, a kind of a, a curriculum for how to be a better person by using fewer lame excuses and more clear, apologetic explanations for when I screw up. Who screws up? Anybody? Oh, same people as the Blues Brothers. No, okay, good. <laughs> so my tool in doing this is my taxonomy of excuses, and the number one lame excuse of them all is the victim excuse. My dog ate my homework. My computer crashed. I had car trouble. Actually, my car trouble was I got into my car too late. <laughs> and my computer crash was, you know, if I'd done my backups, that wouldn't have set me back. And the dog eating the homework? Anybody actually use that one? The second category of excuses, oh, you have? All right, stand up, give my hand. Dog eats the homework. The second category of excuses is soldier excuse. Soldiers work in extraordinary conditions. They come up with extraordinary excuses. The best excuse is, I was under orders. I was just doing my job. If you're not a soldier, if you're a civilian. Or, it's not my job. <laughs> That's a soldier excuse. That's putting the blame for your misaction on somebody else. Third category in the taxonomy, the dreaded cat three excuse, the doctor excuse. This is somebody who's got higher rank than the general who gave you your orders. These are doctor's orders. These are the orders that are going to keep you from eating shellfish or from going out in the sun. I have a headache. My hip hurts. Doctor excuses, you know, they're often legit. But by invoking the doctor, you're saying, I can't do something. If you're a mesh, you say, I don't do something. You take responsibility. Fourth category, the DD excuse. Yes, somebody reacts doctors. The DD excuse is the devil made me do it. Or in the case of Abraham, God made me do it. In Mark David Chapman, he said, why did you kill John Lennon? God told me to do it. Lame excuse. Lame. <laughs> Abraham, however, if he was brought up on charges for trying to kill his son, and he said the burning bush told me to do it, what do you think was going to happen to this guy? So I assign a score based on this taxonomy. Because Jared or Deming, Deming fans, ooh, same people. OK, I got one. He <laughs> says, you can't change what you can't measure. So I put a system in place to measure my performance <laughs> at reducing lame-o excuses. And on Yom Kippur, 9.13, I was already making progress. Here we are up to last week. My excuse ratio is going way, way down. My mens ratio is going way, way up. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Thank you. Roger's going to ensure that all of this is on the website so you too can use Bloom's taxonomy of excuses to be a better person. <laughs> Score them with me. Honor! <laughs> I'm a very Victim. I have a tire. Victim. I have a one cap. Victim. My tux didn't come back for the cleaners. Soldier. I have a friend coming from out of town. Soldier. Someone stole my car. Victim. I'm very afraid. Act of God. Act of God. Act of God. Okay, Princess Leah, what are you gonna do? Shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna forgive him. Oh. Oh. I know, I know. 
it's a movie. This is probably not a good example for a, a talk on how to be a better person and how to be a match, but I guess you need the contrapositive to prove the positive. So that's my lesson for today. Bloom's Taxonomy of Excuses, be a mensch. I want to thank the uh, organizing committee, Roger for taping me, Moen for putting up with me, and Ryan for introducing me. I'm on.